wrote a whole page of notes and it's downstairs. Hi guys, also, by the way, hello, hello. <laughs> Recently, I got a palette in the mail and I was pretty positive that I already had this palette and then I was like, wait a second, that's not even from the same brand. I put it on my story on Instagram. I was just like, what the hell? This palette looks identical to a $65 palette, y'all probably know. One is $18, one is 65, one definitely came after the other. I struggle calling this a dupe comparison because it's basically an exact copy. I will let you see for yourself and decide for yourself. But we are going to be looking at the Ult Ulta Beauty, I mean the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette and the Alter Ego Daydream Palette. I don't even know how they were able to name this palette Daydream Palette because my palette with Urban Decay is named Daydream Palette and it is copywritten. So they are just stealing and copying from everybody. Um, so let's just take a look at this. Let's open this bad boy up. Okay. Oh. I'm really just this clumsy, you guys. It just, it is what it is. The top one is the Daydream palette. And as you can see, they each have a concealer. This one is the concealer down here. So this is the Huda Beauty down here. And this is the Alter Ego Daydream palette. So the top one is $18, the bottom one is $65. Now I wanna create a look today and do one palette on one side and one on the other. And I would like to see how these compare side by side because if a $65 palette is performing better, I would rather spend $65 on that palette personally. But I saw the swatches online, which I will pop on the screen right now, and they look pretty similar. I do have to say Alter Ego really needs to invest in some swatch stencils. That's how brands get those really crisp, clean lines when they do their swatches, like with the stripes. These palettes are pretty crazy. I'll let you look at these up close. Obviously, they each have a concealer. They each are pretty much have identical shades. They are laid out differently, but that doesn't change the fact that it is basically an exact copy. They have kind of the marbleized little pans right here. They've got the glitter pans as well. Basically at the end of the day, this is just a copy. What we're here to find out today is if the $18 palette can stand up to the $65 palette. This side over here, I'm gonna do Huda Beauty and the other side over here will be the Alter Ego palette. Now, I think I'm just gonna, I really wanna try the glitter. I really wanna try the marbleized ones and I will try the concealer. The concealer on the um, on each of these is kind of like orangish for me and I'm gonna assume this is for a cut crease. I haven't really been feeling cut creases lately so I'm not gonna do one, but I do wanna try it. I'll like try and carve out my brow a little bit with it. So let's just get, go ahead and get started. Go ahead, go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place concealer as a base and then I'm going to lightly powder that because that's kind of what I always do. Oh, I also wanted to say, oh my gosh, I googled Alter Ego Cosmetics and the sketchiest little photo of a house popped up on Google. I don't know why it's registered to that house but it just, I'm scared. I don't know what that's all about, but it's definitely a little sketchy. <laughs> I'm gonna do my base after I do my eyes like I usually do. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Dermablend um, Illuminating Banana Powder for setting the eye area just a little bit. Alrighty, so we'll go ahead and get started. I do have my brushes separated right here, so some of them are the same brush, like these teal ones look the same, but I'm keeping them on two sides of the desk. So I'm gonna start with the transition shade. So from the Huda Beauty palette, I'm gonna be grabbing this one right here. And from the Alter Ego palette, I'm gonna be grabbing this one. So I'm gonna be using Play from the Huda Beauty palette. Wow, there's a lot of kickback on that. Check this out, like when I dip into this. It's like going everywhere. I'm trying to pick like shades that are super similar in both palettes, which is actually pretty easy. All right, it takes a little while to build this guy up, but. Okay, now going into the Alter Ego palette with Bubbly, which is a very similar shade. There's quite a bit of kickback on this one too. As you can see when I go in here, not quite as bad as the Huda Beauty one, but definitely still present. Looking pretty freaking similar. Wow, it looks the same. Oh my goodness. 
Next, I'm gonna go in with Raw from the Huda Beauty palette. I'm gonna work this into the crease. It's a pretty shade. I'm so hungry. I woke up this morning and I realized that I had no food in the house. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I guess I'll wait till after I film this video to go to the store. But now I'm just like absolutely starving. Oh. And when I'm starving, I like to rush through looks because I wanna eat food. But I'm gonna try not to do that today. All right, and from the Alter Ego palette, I'm gonna go into Sunset. That looks like it's the closest shade. Uh, what happened to the pigment? Okay, I'm gonna show you these guys side by side real quick. This is the one that I just used on the Huda Beauty side, and up right here is what we're using on the Alter Ego side, and that's what it did. Alrighty then, let's just let's keep trying here, folks. <clears throat> okay, uh, all right, so I'm gonna go into, a dip into a little bit of Enchanted from the Daydream palette, because that's just not dark enough. Why is there no color? Okay, we're struggling. <clears throat> we're struggling blending out into like, well, not nothing, but it's like definitely disappearing when I blend, like. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna try going into an even darker shade from the Daydream palette. So I'm gonna go with Sugar Plum, cause that looks closer. And let's try this out. Is this a sick joke? What is going on? Look at that. It looks like horse shit. <laughs> we're gonna, I almost just gave up and like stopped recording, but you know what? We're just going to keep going and finish this look off. And you know, what are we gonna do? What, what, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> like it's blending out easy when I'm doing this, but like it's not, sticking like it's so splotchy and just nasty okay i just have to swatch these on my hands so this is raw from the huda beauty palette and then this is sunset the one i originally thought was a good one from the daydream palette to compare that's so and then here's enchanted which is even darker from the alter ego palette like that looks okay there but like on it's just like not working out. Like I'm trying to get depth and I used the darkest shade in the Alter Ego palette. And this is what I have right now. Now I don't have any glitter glue right now because all my stuff is basically packed. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a jelly primer and put that on my eyelid. And we're just gonna freaking use that as glitter glue and call it a day. So I'm gonna use the Dermablend Insta Grip Jelly Primer. And I'm just going to, I don't even know if this is gonna work, honestly, this is not a good idea. <laughs> but I got no other options. Or is there concealer meant for that? Maybe we'll put a little concealer on top too. Okay, so going into the concealer in the Alter Ego Daydream palette, I'm gonna just put that over top and prep this for glitter. Now going into the Huda Beauty concealer pan. And I'm gonna prep this eyelid. Okay, so for the glitter uh, on the Huda Beauty palette, I'm gonna use Infatuated. And I just got some on my brush here. And I'm gonna place that down. I wanna see how this glitter looks without a dark base underneath. So I can really see what it's doing. But typically I would put it over a darker base. Looks really pretty though. I haven't worn glitter in so long. It's been so long. Moving over to the Alter Ego palette, I'm gonna be using Starlight. That's the most comparable glitter in here. It's pretty much spot on looking. So put this on here and see what we get. My stomach is about to start growling for real. It's like, bitch, feed me. They look pretty dang similar. The glitter looks basically identical. I feel like this side's a little more sparkly. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna put my base on and I'll be right back and we'll finish the under eyes. And we'll use the, I'll use the concealer up here so we can see. But I feel like I might have already seen enough. I don't know. We'll, we'll make our final judgment in a little bit here. 
We are back to do the rest of the look, the lower lash line. Okay, let's do it. Going to the Huda Beauty palette. I'm gonna go back into, let's see, I'm gonna switch this brush. I'm gonna go back into Raw, which was the darker shade that we did in the crease here. And I'm going to work that into the lower lash line. And I'm gonna make it a little darker on the outer edge here. And for the other side, I'm gonna be going in with, oh, I guess I'm just gonna do Sunset and a dash of Enchanted. That's what we used up here. Pretty similar actually down there. I don't know what happened up there. So these two look pretty similar. So I'm gonna use Daydream from, you guys. Alter Ego literally named this palette Daydream, and one of the Hoodoo Beauty shades in this palette is freaking called Daydream! I just saw that. That That is another level of shady. Wow, okay. All right, going on with Daydream. I'm gonna put this on the inner corner. I probably should've done this before I put lashes on. It's gonna add a little glow in here. Now, going into the other one, the shade that most matches this is Fairy Tale. It's a bit darker, but it's the only thing that matches. Somewhat matches, I guess I should say. So here we are at the end of the video, <laughs> the end of the look. Uh, I think it's so shady that they named the entire palette after one of the shades in there. Like clearly they were looking at it and they're like, we should call it Daydream. So I don't really know enough about this brand Alter Ego to know if that if, if that's like their shtick, like if that's like their thing to kind of like rip off palettes and like do them cheaper. Alter Ego is also supposedly cruelty free by the way. So I, working with the eyeshadow palette, it's very similar. However, it's way less pigmented. I was not able to get like a dark shade, even out of the dark shades in it for the crease area, which you can see right now, this one's much darker. So for me, that that makes it a no-go. Like I just don't understand the point of having 18 shades if they're all like super light, even when they're not supposed to be. I personally would pay the $65 for the Huda Beauty palette. I also personally don't really, like I'm all down for like a dupe palette where it's like similar-ish, but I feel like they straight ripped it off. Like, I mean, they just straight, ripped it off like just straight, like I, I don't know i don't know what else to say like they just copied it completely so um i don't really think i'm a fan of that i as a business owner myself i um think ripping something off exactly is I mean, I get it. Some people like they're there. They're there for the people that um, don't want to spend sixty-five dollars or maybe cannot spend sixty-five dollars on a palette, but want a palette like that. And I get that. But like, you named it a name of a shade from the Huda one. Like, I don't know. I just can't get behind that. So that's the tea. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that? it's okay to rip off a palette entirely and offer it at a lower price point. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm really interested to see what you guys have to say. Um, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video. I will also link both of these palettes for you in the description box below in case you wanna check them out. Bye guys.